Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is the 24th day of February 2020. Here to give you all the update in the market for Bitcoin and whether or not will Bitcoin continue to see lower price. It's about time for updates. It's been about two days since we did our video in Bitcoin and you all can tell based on the price chart that it does seem like Bitcoin is going to move lower. But before I get started in that, check us out at our website qfinancial.com in order to uh, get the opportunity to be eligible to receive some free bitcoin definitely need to become a subscriber of ours and your subscription needs to be active on the month in which we do the giveaway if it's not then you will not be eligible to get any free bitcoin at our website hughfinancial.com also follow us on the other social media platforms facebook instagram as well as on twitter in order to make sure that you stay updated on any of the important market action that we are noticing in the cryptocurrency space as well as in the stock market now here we are taking a look at bitcoin just to give you all a heads up last time we did our video in bitcoin was on the 21st of february you all can see how we expected the market in bitcoin to continue to see lower price Many people may be wondering, well, you got that wrong. Actually, we didn't. The confirmation of that weakness in Bitcoin is being confirmed today based off what we noticed on the 21st of February. OK. So actually, our analysis is still on course to play out in Bitcoin. I think we still place a TP in the market in Bitcoin at ninety six hundred dollars. We knew that area is going to try to be maintained as support. Uh, but currently, based off of market action today in Bitcoin, I'm not expecting the market to really hold that $9,600 any longer. The next logical area of support is going to be around $9,400. So we're going to continue to keep this forecast for Bitcoin in play. Based off the price chart, yes, the market is looking to continue to move lower for Bitcoin. We're going to take our TP now at $9,400. Taking another look, that will greet us about another 3% profit move to the downside from where we are today in Bitcoin. All right. Take a look at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. We are starting this week off on a negative note, but it's not thing. It's nothing to be too worried about right now, but just understand that the trend in the market in Bitcoin is one of weakness and movement to the downside. All right. So we have about four more days before we end out the month of February. And you can tell right here based off this current monthly price bar in Bitcoin that it is being inundated with a lot of selling for this current month of February. That also is indicative of continued weakness in the market for Bitcoin. So something that needs to be watched in the long term as well. But from this daily perspective, we're still going to continue to play this market in Bitcoin with the movement to the downside. Now, I will tell you again that the participation in the market is definitely trying to hold price at ninety six hundred dollars. I see that and it can go against our original forecast that we placed here on the 21st of February. That is definitely something that I take note of. And it is just one of those risks that you have to accept in order to place a forecast into the market. So, yes, ninety six hundred dollars is looking to be support. I am acknowledging that to you right now. But based off the spread and the volume for today, I am expecting the market at least to try to hit that ninety four hundred dollar level for like another three percent market move to the downside. OK, so questions, comments, very quick video. Let us know. Leave us a comment in the comment section of this video. And again, join us. All the links is in the description of this video to make sure that you are well aware and that you are ahead of the game before anybody else and noticing where the market is going to go. I'll see y'all on the next one.